everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to make a DIY game controller using MMJoy firmware and software. There are several options that you can choose actually to create your own game controller or button box or any other cases. But in the market, there are several options actually like uh, you can use uh, this simple board uh, from uh, like a joystick controller. Uh, it's very cheap from China. This is mostly uh, like uh, arcade controllers. Uh, it's basically, I, I think it's, they have around, I forgot, I think 16 buttons, if not mistaken, and then uh, two access kind of uh, setup. So this is very simple, plug and play. You don't need to do anything. However, the functionality is very limited, so you cannot adjust, uh, like you know, uh, like a pulsing or encoders reading. So it's basically just an arcade uh, joystick or controllers, right, or a gamepad. The other options actually that is more advanced actually have uh, coming from Leo Bodnar. I think most of the sim builder or the uh, home sim builder are using this too like a BBI 64 button box. They have several things, of course, like uh, analog inputs and uh, 32 buttons uh, con uh, configurable. I think they can, you know, do a lot of things like 64 buttons or 32 rotary encoders. So that's a lot. Uh, and actually, um, uh, yeah, you can configure this in many ways. Uh, this is actually the preferred choices for the sim builder or someone who's really seriously want to build a home cockpit or uh, you know rally car or racing car cockpits uh, you can use Leo Botnar uh, kind of uh, solutions however uh, in my country uh, this is very rare and the price was really expensive you see it's uh, it's almost like uh, like $20 or $25 at least or GBP pounds so 35 pounds so that's quite a quite expensive uh, and I have to ship it from internationally to my country in Indonesia for example so this is not a good choice so MMJoy provide an option actually to to do it with uh, Arduino you know Arduino Leo or Micro which you know it's very cheap you can find one Arduino board from AliExpress, for example, or even locally here, it's available, like three dollar or four dollars. You know, that's that's very cheap compared to like twenty or or thirty dollars uh, Leo Botnar uh, solutions. Of course, the ports are more limited, but almost similar size, like sixty four inputs outputs, um, can be configurable also and using safe registers uh, the analog though it's only six analog input um, for example or more uh, you can configure or eight actually you can configure in leo more analog input and also pro Mi micro is even uh, cheaper it can go three dollars max you know so this is the uh, a bit more limited in the in terms of a number of ports so we're going to discuss this when we build our hardware uh, on the step three of the process so this one just introduction and then we start for, for the step one which is preparing the the board itself so it's very very low cost solutions although it requires a lot of uh, diy of course that's why uh, Leo Botnar solutions might require DIY but less soldering because this everything is here and ready to be used. So why do you want to build a DIY game controller in the first place? So basically uh, you can buy Trustmasters, you can buy Logitech, you can buy uh, you know Furpol, uh, VKB and other you know built uh, ready to use uh, controller right for your flight or car simulators but you just want your own or you have a simple button box for example uh, to to make it functional yes in many cases there are a lot of uh, 
use that uh, you can uh, do so here is, is the example um, here is the button box that I created for my racing car um, I'm I'm using a uh, analog uh, potentiometers to to do a handbrake uh, hardware uh, for the rally car and this one is a uh, sh shift gear uh, up and down but it's very mechanical so it's clunky uh, it's it, it, it feels like a real mechanical shift uh, gear gear shift mechanisms and several button box this is for my truck like uh, euro or american truck uh, you know this for the uh, break is for something you know anything that you want to create your own you can do it so this actually one case their case is just a simple uh, button box this is multifunction uh, no markings uh, this one is used now for my fs 2020 or microsoft flight simulators this one is for answering the atc 10 buttons and then the one for external view this one is for cockpit view quick access to several instrument panel for example so it's very easy to access and even i can build this um, cessna or multi-engine uh, cockpit you know so this has an option for two engines one engine propeller and the yoke itself the yoke itself is a separate unit that i create also using mm joyce with analog input with uh, x and y axis and a lot of mechanical here if you do and able to create a mechanical construction it would good this one is 3d printing materials and switches all all, all of this are connected to uh, uh, the mm joy using arduino leonardo in this case some are micro some are leo so depending on your needs so yeah this one is a much more extensive build. even if you see my other video about fa18c cockpit this is a full cockpit built i i'm using at least 10 uh, leonardo arduino uh, with mm joy firmware and it yeah it's it's a lot and because i need a lot of buttons i need a lot of uh, switches and anything so yeah uh, the the mm joy can be you know very advanced if you want to but uh, very simple in because you don't need to do any programming like uh like in the arduino ide or development environment so you just use it to to create your own uh function button uh later on i'm going to showcase uh, on the hardware designs what is the features of the mm joy that can like you know, this uh reading in rotary encoders simple push button or toggle switch converted into a pulse for example or any other other function you can invert you can uh, customize the function of its switch and buttons accordingly without the need of going into uh, programming so just you just uh, select what functions of each of the buttons will do even one of the version in um, mm joy i think 2015 versions can emulate a keyboard press so it's like uh, you don't need another uh, software like joy to key or something you just can directly emulate uh, keyboard press from the mm joy itself so it's very advanced uh, and you, you can create a, a direct keyboard simulation sim simulations inside mm joy and you can change the program any anytime you want for example in my fa18 cockpit i use a button box to to emulate uh, function key f1 to f12 for example so you you don't have to reach your keyboard again because it's any function related to f1 to f12 is there in your reach so within your reach so that is one of the use cases when i created so this all are created using mmjoy uh, so i just want to share on how to do it okay so what do you need actually you need a software and firmware so you need mmjoy2 firmware of course and software so this is one package and then arduino development software ide you don't need this actually if you're if you're you're sure that your arduino are already equipped with bootstrap loader so i'm gonna we're gonna talk about bootstrap loader after this so that is the first phase actually so what if you know that your uh, arduino is already equipped with bootstrap loader then it's okay you don't need to do this but of course you still need the mmjoy 
uh, firmware. So this is the last stage, uh, step or the uh, the second step uh, to prepare the the Arduino board itself. The parts actually is uh, we required um, USB ASP ESP programmer. So this one is to program the Arduino Leo or Micro uh, with uh, the Bootstrap loader required for programming the firmware. Okay, so to upload the firmware to the Arduino, we need the Arduino Leo or Micro to be ready with Bootstrap loader. Because you buy sometimes a cheap one from uh, Aliexpress or China or somewhere, those sometimes do not equip with Bootstrap loader. And uh, I experienced problem in uploading the firmware first time because I don't understand, but it turned out that there's no Bootstrap loader. So you need this uh, USB ASP to, to load the Bootstrap loader. Arduino board, of course, you need either Pro Micro or Leonardo, as mentioned. And then uh, cables, uh, of course, you need connectors, USB Type-E to USB Micro or Mini, depending on your Leo, uh, my, uh, Arduino board. Uh, sometimes it has the Mini type of USB, uh, some, uh, but most of the time now it's already USB Micro to USB-A cables. And then, of course, some soldering because you're going to be doing DIY anyway. So there will be a lot of cablings uh, connected into your uh, switches, right? And some reset push button. This is optional. You don't need it. Okay, so let's go into the first step of the build, which is preparing your uh, Arduino board for MMJOY2 firmware upload. So this is just to ensure that your Arduino board are ready with MMJOY, uh, sorry, with the bootstrap loader. So MMJOY uh, software can upload the firmware uh, first time into your Arduino. So without the bootstrap loader, uh, it, won't, it won't be able to do that. So for this uh, process, you need Arduino IDE. So Arduino IDE is the integrated development uh, environment software, which is actually used to program the Arduino board, right? But this time we don't, don't worry. We don't, uh, we won't do any programming in Arduino programming language, but we're gonna use them, uh, this IDE, to upload the bootstrap loader firmware, right? Uh, so this is another firmware actually, need to be uploaded first into Arduino Pro Micro Leonardo. So what is boot bootloader? Bootloader is the little program that runs when you turn first time the Arduino on, uh, or please press the reset button, uh, and then it uh, it will check if the computer sends something, you know, to Arduino for the boot bootloader to activate it. But if there there is none, it will continue executing the program which is res reside in the Arduino memory. So it will <coughs> it will function normally. <coughs> Sorry, it will function normally. So if something sent during the boot loading process, it will not executing the software inside the Arduino board uh, memory. Instead, it will wait for uh, the software from computer to upload something into the memory or into its app ROM or the ROM, right, to, to be safe there. So the function of bootloader sometimes being used to program the Arduino um, with some software, right? So not using the ID itself. Um, so it, this is a very useful function. And I think uh, what happened is that uh, MMJOY also uploading the firmware, it's MMJOY firmware uploading process is using the bootloader function. Okay, so we require this to be first uh, program into the uh, Arduino Leo or Micro first. So uh, the MMJOY software can upload the firmware. Okay, so it's a bit complex, but I'm getting back and forth. But just to understand that this is the first step. You prepare the Arduino Pro Micro Leo to be able to receive the firmware of uh, the MMJOY 2 or MMJOY. Okay, so... This is how it, it works. Uh, so it it uh, bootloader and normal functioning Leo or micro 
uh, Arduino board use different uh, COM port or serial port. So you have to check which port being used by uh, the bootloader and which port used by a normal one. So I'm going to show you later on uh, uh, a different uh, port being used when we program uh, the board with MMJoy. Not now, but today uh, uh, in this uh, in this video, in this video we're going to going to show you how to prepare the um, Arduino Micro and Leo. So before we start, we're gonna have to download the software, uh, the ID if you haven't have one. Of course, if you have one, uh, you don't need the Arduino ID anymore, but you can do up some update to the latest version. So you you download from here, uh, HTTPS, uh, www.arduino.cc and main software. So that will, uh, goes into this screen okay so this is the website of Arduino so you can choose which uh, operating system you use and then download okay now once you download uh, that will uh, it will be shown as like this so uh, this is the the installed Ar Arduino in the systems and um, this is the main uh, working area so later on we're gonna show you how to program the Arduino with bootloader okay so just download this and make it ready okay now before that we're gonna first of all we have to prepare the the connections so there's several ways so if because I'm using the USB ASP programmer, why I'm using uh, you can use uh, any other like Leo, uh, sorry Arduino Uno um, to program Leo or program other Arduino, right? So that's an option to to make another Arduino to program other Arduino for the bootloader. So that's one way to do it, but that's. Uh, but that you have to know how to program first right so rather than doing that uh, you just bought this usb esp uh if you see uh i think uh, let's let's find out uh, i think you you can buy uh this usb esp uh, very cheap right this one is amazon uh, i think it's only around 12 dollar even locally even cheaper so uh, it's probably only four dollar locally uh here in indonesia so it's only um this usb esp plus a csp converter for arduino upgrade so this one is uh, like a pcb uh, connector converting from this eight pin uh, uh, into six pin which just you know you can just plug into your arduino leo for Arduino Micro, it's a bit different, so you have to have several cables actually to configure that. So you you just need to buy this USB ESP first uh, before being able to program other Arduino with the bootloader. But you, I think this is a good investment. Four dollar, come on, you just bought it and use it. I think when you bought a lot of Arduino, you want to be able to program that Arduino. Uh, frequently okay so yeah so once you get the usb sp ready so this is the cable that's connect here the the other cable which is here are converted with this icsp connectors with this output and this output has to be connected to this connector here for leonardo with this following configuration so miso to miso uh but uh and then uh, serial clock, uh, reset, ground, um, uh, parallel in, uh, output, um, and then uh, the 5 volt. Okay, so for this one, actually, you just need to plug in directly. You don't need to, you know, create another cable. So this one is already very uh, plug and play. So with this port, you can just uh, plug into this connectors directly. So I'll show you later on. 
for micro however you have to have a bit of cabling required with the pins okay so from these connectors you have to connect to these several points here like the the 5 volt here connect to this pin and then reset from here to here the blue one and then the ground the black one here connected and then the serial clock to this fifth uh, 15 uh, pin number 15 here in the in this uh, micro i think layout of uh, arduino micro is almost the same for every pro micro micro layout and then the miso to this this is uh serial input this is serial output uh but and then uh what else uh, yes mosi here and miso here and set clock so only three of don't don't forget don't connect to this pin but the second pin from below here or 15 14 and 16 okay so don't connect to this pin so sometimes i do connect it to this pin nothing happens okay and don't make a mistake in connecting this three because it can damage your board because there's a ground and there's a power five volt and then reset so ensure it's correct cabling and you're ready to go okay okay so this is the usb asp uh, programmer so this is your usb type a connectors and this is the gray cables and this is the converter pcb converter pcb right so there is a naming here my so uh serial clock rst i don't know you can read or not and then in the back there's a ground mosi and pcc so it's our name okay so it's out of focus sorry so you connect this to your us uh, computer this i'm using uh, usb extension here so you connect like this uh, well before that thing several things you can do uh, you can prepare your this is uh, Arduino Leo that you 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 can prepare first uh, this very cheap one and I got a micro but this just example of the micro so this one is the Arduino micro that or has already so this one is Arduino micro that is uh, already soldered so usually uh, these connectors are not yet uh, provide, uh, attached so you have to solder yourself these connectors and I've prepared the cables which connect to the USB ASP connector here so this one is for the for the, the ground and then this one is the reset button uh, this one is the the brown one is uh, for pcc for example this one is the green one is serial clock uh my somosi uh, connectors in which is aligned with uh, this one later on okay so you have to ensure the cabling is right for micro because it's not plug and play so let's start uh, connecting this board for programming the bootloader so for this one uh, you see there's a as a protruding uh, connect uh, part of the connectors you have to put it inside because the MISO is, is similar with the MISO here is actually this pin so you just align this and that's it so it's directly uh, plug and play and this one connected to your computer right okay so both of them are lighted this one the red lights and this one is green and yellow so now this connect uh, this usb asp uh, ready to program the leo here okay to do that we use the ide software to upload from your computer the uh, the bootloader firmware to this port okay so how to do it to program uh, the bootloader you first of all you load the, or run the Arduino IDE which you already download and installed in your PC so this one is the the 
the screen, the first screen won't be like this. This one usually shows something else. It's okay. But you go here on the file and then you go to example and then you go to Arduino ISP and then select this one. So it will come up with this Arduino ISP code, right? This is a code actually, uh, which needs to be programmed through your uh, USB ESP, uh, which I already show you, uh, to the Arduino Leo. So this is the bootloader program, okay? So how to do it? You click here and then you select uh, which board that you are trying to program in this case I want to program Arduino Leo right so I'm programming board Arduino Leo uh, and then the port you need to check which port that they use okay so how to do it you have to uh, check in your uh, uh, device manager so this way you open up device managers in your windows and look for this uh, so it usually can be different com but in this case the ramps here are a mps com 26 so this is the uh, usb esp uh, programmer uh, com port right communication port so it can be com any any com 13 19 i don't know so it's depending on your computer the assigned com port might be different just take note this one if you are confused with other port i think you better unplug other uh, peripheral first so at least you sure that the, the one connected the usb asp that is being uh, uh, connected is uh, this this one because if you have like three printers or uh, sticker cutter uh, sometimes they they use rams also so some you can get confused which ram set actually connected to your usb esp so better unplug them first and then ensure this uh, it is your usb esp okay once you know the com port just take note so if we go back into arduino uh, uh sorry arduino ide so when you choose the com port and uh, choose the right one com port this one is 26 and actually you just need to click this button burn bootloader so once you check okay so uh, look at this bottom area here there will be some error warning uh, you don't need to worry if your usb esp firmware is outdated sometimes well yeah mine is outdated but it's it's working so let's burn it so here they they are burning bootloader to io board this may take a minute so it takes some time but wait until uh, the done burning message here coming out okay so it's it's burning uh, if you see in uh, in the video uh, there is uh, some lights uh, light up yellow uh, orange and but nothing blinking at this layout so it's just it's happening okay so you need you don't need to worry what you need to do is just look in the ide that it is already finished so if you go back into your ide okay if you go back to your ide uh, you can see here as a message done burning bootloader it means that your arduino leo just now has complete uh, i mean the firmware upload the bootloader has been uploaded successfully to your leo so your leo already has a bootloader now in uh, its memory so it's ready to be con uh, uploaded the firmware of mmjoy later on okay so that is for leo so let's do for micro so it's a bit uh, different but it's the same okay so for arduino micro uh, because i'm i'm using cables i know the blue one is actually is uh, the miso so i ensure it's aligned so the blue one is miso the green one is serial clock and reset uh, reset uh, is yellow so yellow goes here the reset and then the blue one the miso go here and the green one zero clock 
here right so I, I've checked this one so it's correct so I can reuse it I do a heat gun uh, glue here to just to ensure the cable is not moving uh, so yeah this one is ready uh, to be connected right so don't uh, ensure you double check these connections because it might damage your board or nothing happens okay so let's connect okay it's light up red and also the pro micro led is light up so this one is ready to be programmed also with the bootloader okay because we are programming a different board so you have to change the uh, board itself not arduino leo but here you have to change to arduino micro uh, pro micro i think is from a different different uh, developer a board developer which is spark fun avr but for ordinary micro uh, a clone i guess from china you can use arduino uh, micro uh, still the same COM port in this case of mine, so it's COM port uh, 26 and um, Still the program. Oh, by the way, the programmer you have to select USB ESP uh, There will be several Arduino ISP programmer as I, I mentioned you can use other uh, Arduino SISP for example, but this case we're using uh, USB ESP Okay, so similar things uh, you just need to uh, Click this button and the program will start here uh, the same process happening here and nothing happens in the board itself uh, it's just the same uh, but we just need to wait uh, until it's finished so if you see in the board uh, nothing happens uh, yeah nothing flickering uh, it's just uh, led so we wait until this sign becoming there's a done message here means it's already finished uh, with the bootloader programming into your Arduino okay so done burning bootloader so it means it successfully upload the bootloader into your Arduino again several warning here because my USB ESP is firmware is not updated so I'm okay with it as long as it's able to to burn the, the bootloader itself okay so that is how you prepare your uh, Arduino uh, with the bootloader uh, and uh, yeah so it's now ready with the with the bootloader inside okay so as you can see uh, so this is the process in written so open Arduino IDE uh, and open file menu examples and Arduino ISP and then select Arduino ISP this is the code and then in the tools menu select the programmer and select the USB ESP first as your programmer in this case because we use USB ESP not and not Arduino as ISP programmer and then select the right com, com communication port as per connected uh, USB ESP so this board connected to which port and then oh, how to do it open device managers look under ports com NLPT and you can find the RAMs RAMPS right find USB comms uh, RAMPS uh, which port uh, and then let's say mine is 26 just now and then tools uh, you click the burn bootloader and wait until the burning bootloader done message appears that is connected uh, i mean it's, it's finished and then check in device manager arduino plugin appears as bootloader i uh, will will test this one when we program the uh, arduino for uh for the firmware of the mmjoy so how to check this one i'm going to show you later on and the bootloader com ports have a different value so this this part part uh, step seven and eight uh, we're going to test it during the programming of mmjoy2 firmware okay so this is part one of uh, um, trying to prepare the arduino leo and micro ready for mmjoy2 firmware upload okay so see you in, in the next video